Medjugorje, a quiet farming village in the mountains of Bosnia-Herzegovina, formerly Yugoslavia, which saw the atrocities of communist control. It was on June 24, 1981, when the Mother of God was reported to have appeared to six children with an urgent call to conversion for the world, stating that what she began in Fatima she will fulfill here in Medjugorje. Since that first apparition and until this present day, the Blessed Mother of God is still appearing daily to three of the six visionaries. She has given messages of hope and instruction on how we should be living better lives and return to God. But she has also given many urgent messages regarding the state of the world and where it is heading. Throughout this time she has imparted ten secrets to the visionaries. These secrets are to be revealed in time to the world. Shortly thereafter, they will occur. Some are relating to time of grace, some are of chastisements that concern the world, and some concern the church itself. But unlike previous apparitions from long ago, Mankind has the chance to test these so-called visionaries' claims of seeing the Blessed Mother. Medjugorje is all the more unique due to the scientific experiments carried out by international scientists throughout the past three decades. During this time, Medjugorje has grew to be one of the most visited pilgrimage shrines in the world. With no clear end in sight and with many good fruits, the Catholic Church has made unique steps in their own investigation and Rome itself has taken full control over this phenomena and we await patiently for the final outcome. In this video we will look at the story of the first apparitions and what unfolded in the early days, the main messages given to the world, the ten secrets including the permanent sign that has been promised for all to see, the link to Fatima, the scientific investigations, and what does the future therefore have in store for all of us. From left to right, Mariana, Viska, Ivanka, Ivan, Maria, and young 10-year-old Yaakov at the front. Since then, these apparitions have continued on a daily basis, marking it the most intriguing and unique investigations ever carried out by the church and by international scientists. It was the feast day of John the Baptist when the first apparition took place. It was Ivanka and Mariana who first reported seeing the Blessed Mother. They were walking along the path in the surrounding area of Medjugorje when the first encounter occurred. Both had been frightened. Later they returned to the same spot at the base of the hill, then joined by Vitska. When seeing Our Lady with her own eyes, Vitska ran back towards the village in fear, only to bump into a van along the road. She told him what was happening, and they both returned to meet the other girls at the hill. They all described seeing Our Lady as follows. There was incredible light. The Blessed Mother held baby Jesus in her arms, covering and uncovering him as she called to us. It was overwhelming. When asked how did she know it was Our Lady, Mariana replied, my whole being knew without a doubt that this lady of unexplainable beauty was the mother of God. That is why I had such fear. Ivanka, Mariana, Vitska and Ivan returned the second day. They described that they experienced an internal call to return to the hill. They returned, accompanied by Maria and Yaakov. When they returned to the hill on the second day, a few curious villagers followed behind. She beckoned the children to go up the hill, and they went. All present witnessed the children run up the hill at unnatural speed. 
The children later say that they didn't look for a path, nor worry about the terrain, they just floated up as if on wings. When the children reached the top, only two metres from the Blessed Virgin, they crashed to their knees on the jagged rock. Young Yaakov crashed to his knees in a thorn bush, but he did not receive a single scratch. Those who followed the six children up the 300 metre high hill that day were dumbfounded as to the speed in which they saw the visionaries climb it. They themselves could not keep up with them. The apparition lasted for almost 15 minutes. All the visionaries were weeping upon coming down from the hill. They were both moved and frightened by their experience. By the third day, word spread like wildfire. By the evening on the third day, several thousand people gathered on the hill in anticipation and hope. On this evening, when the children arrived at the hill, a brilliant light flashed three times before Our Lady appeared. All present saw this. The children then asked many questions and prayed with her. The villagers joined in prayer and praise whilst watching the children in ecstasy. Our Lady told the children, I have come because there are many true believers here. I wish to be with you to convert and to reconcile the whole world. When the apparition had ended and they all began descending the hill, Maria at a point was walking down alone when she felt mysteriously being pushed to the side of the trail. She saw the Blessed Virgin again on her own. Our Lady was crying and there was a bare wooden cross behind her. She spoke the following words to Maria. Peace, peace, peace. Be reconciled. Only peace. Make your peace with God and among yourselves. For that, it is necessary to believe, to pray, to fast and to go to confession. This first message has summed up the request of the Blessed Mother over the years at Medjugorje. The Blessed Virgin Mary has told the visionaries of Medjugorje that she would impart to them ten secrets. Very little is known about these secrets, though we do know that some of them have to do with chastisements for the world. We also know that the third secret will be a visible, lasting sign that will miraculously be placed somewhere on the hill of the first apparition, known as Apparition Hill. It will be permanent, indestructible and beautiful. Also, both Mariana and Visca have stated that part of the seventh secret no longer exists because of the prayers and fasting of the people responding to Our Lady's call. However, the events will unfold. Our response can lower the severity. However, they will occur and cannot be averted. Three of the visionaries, Mariana, Ivanka and Yaakov, have all ten secrets and no longer see Our Lady on a daily basis. The other three visionaries, Ivan, Maria and Vitska, each have nine secrets and still see Our Lady on a daily basis to this present day of this recording. Mariana was the first visionary to receive all ten secrets. Our Lady has given her the responsibility of revealing these secrets in time. Mariana knows the day and date of each of the secrets. Our Lady told her to choose a priest to reveal the secrets to the world. Mariana chose Father Petar Lubitschik. Ten days before the first secret is to be revealed, Father Petar will be given a parchment containing the ten secrets. When Father Petar receives the parchment, he will only be able to read the first secret. During the ten days, he, along with Mariana, is to spend the first seven days in fasting and prayer. 
Three days before the event takes place, he is to announce it to the world. At the proper time, he will be able to see and read the second secret, and then the third, and so on, according to the schedule of heaven. Mariana said that Father Petar doesn't have the right to choose whether to say or not to say them. He accepted this mission and he has to fulfill that according to God's will. Father Petar recently celebrated his 71st birthday. Mariana has relayed the following. Before the visible sign is given to mankind, there will be three warnings to the world. The warnings will be in the form of events on earth. Mariana will be a witness to them. Ten days before one of the admonitions, Mariana will notify Father Petar. The witness of Mariana will be a confirmation of the apparitions and a stimulus for the conversion of the world. After the admonitions, the visible sign will appear on the site of the apparitions in Medjugorje for all the world to see. The sign will be given as a testimony, confirming the apparitions and as a call for people to return to God. The ninth and tenth secrets are serious. They concern chastisements for the sins of the world. Punishment is inevitable, for we cannot expect the whole world to be converted. The punishment, however, can be diminished by prayer and penance, but it cannot be eliminated. Mariana says that one of the evils that threatened the world, the one contained in the seventh secret, has been averted thanks to prayer and fasting. That is why the Blessed Mother continues to encourage prayer and fasting. After the first admonition, the others will follow in a rather short time. Thus, people will have some time for conversion. That interval will be a period of grace and conversion. After the visible sign appears, those who are still alive will have little time for conversion. For that reason, the Blessed Virgin invites us to urgent conversion and reconciliation. The invitation to prayer and penance is meant to avert evil and war, but most of all to save souls. According to Mariana, the events predicted by the Blessed Virgin are near. By virtue of this experience, Mariana proclaims to the world, Convert as quickly as possible. Open your hearts to God. In addition to this basic message, Mariana related an apparition she had in 1982 which we believe shed some light on some aspects of church history. She spoke of an apparition in which Satan appeared to her. Satan asked Mariana to renounce the Madonna and follow him, that way she could be happy, in love and in life. He said that following the Virgin, on the contrary, would only lead to suffering. Mariana rejected him, and immediately the Virgin appeared and gave her the following message in substance. Excuse me for this, but you must realise that Satan exists. One day he appeared before the throne of God and asked permission to submit the church to a period of trial. God gave him permission to try the church for one century. This century is under the power of the devil, but when the secrets confided to you come to pass, his power will be destroyed. Even now he is beginning to lose his power and has become aggressive. He is destroying marriages, creating division amongst priests, and is responsible for obsessions and murder. You must protect yourselves against these things through fasting and prayer, especially community prayer. Carry blessed objects with you, put them in your house and restore the use of holy water. Let's stop and look closely at this message. Satan was granted a century to test the church. This century? This should alert us to the mystical experience of Pope Leo XIII, who after experiencing this in context, said it would begin shortly into the 20th century. Shortly into the 20th century, we had the First World War, but also the apparitions of Fatima. Our Lady is now saying 
I will fulfill here in Medjugorje what I began in Fatima. What did she begin in Fatima? I would advise the viewer to watch the Fatima episode in this playlist, but in short, this century has been the apocalyptic battle between the woman clothed in the sun and the beast, Satan. The message to Mariana also speaks of how aggressive he is becoming because he is running out of time. When these secrets come to pass, his power will be destroyed. This tells us, therefore, that now in 2017, the 100th anniversary of Fatima, he still has some time left, but surely such a timescale marker must show that this time may be shorter than we think. The signs of this aggressiveness is still in the message. He is destroying marriages, division amongst priests and is responsible for obsessions and murder. There has always been such cases, but look at these topics and remind yourself of how intensifying the attack has been. Divorces, multiple marriages, redefining marriage to push in gay agendas, gay adoption, abortion. Abortion has evolved from medical reasons to partial birth abortion. Abortions on demand for no reason other than a child would be an inconvenience. An unwanted baby. Adultery. Addiction to pornography. More frequent terrorist attacks. How many civil wars are in place around the world just now? The list goes on. You may be fearful at such an alarming presentation. Maybe even anger of the topics highlighted, which are a normal occurrence in this world, such as redefining of marriage or abortion. But if heaven speaks against them, why do we ignore and continue on? Why do we not trust in a loving mother who cares for us deeply and has been sent to bring us back on the right path? How do we overcome the world? How do we change back to the way she is asking us? Why does Medjugorje differ from other reported apparitions through the centuries such as Lourdes and Fatima? The Blessed Virgin Mary, who identifies herself in Medjugorje as the Queen of Peace, has given daily messages to the children who have then revealed them publicly to the world. These messages over the past 36 years have been divided into the following categories. Prayer fasting, Eucharist, Holy Scripture, and monthly confession. These are known as the five stones to defeat our modern day Goliath. The messages for the world are given to Maria on the 25th of every month. Through these continual messages and support, we have to give our free will and put them into practice. We may not get all the answers straight away, but trusting in the same woman, the same mother who raised up Jesus in this earthly life, surely is a good choice to make. If she was trusted by God, she should be trusted by us. Live these messages and allow grace to do its work in us. By that transformation of one individual, then the next, and the next one, and so on, a family is then changed for the better, a village, a city, a nation, and then the world. The Blessed Mother stated that what she began in Fatima, she will fulfill in Medjugorje. A massive statement that should immediately ring bells in the minds of those who are very much up to date with Fatima and the history of the foretold messages that did come to pass. Fatima and Lourdes have both been accepted as true by the Catholic Church after much scrutiny and investigations. Medjugorje to date has not been formally approved in the same manner. The main reason for this is because Medjugorje is still occurring. The 36 years and counting makes Medjugorje so unique. Fatima only had 6 months of apparitions. However, the link between Fatima and Medjugorje is clear by the statement alone of what she began in Fatima, that she will fulfill her plan in Medjugorje. Fatima and Lourdes and any true apparition place do have the same repeated messages, prayer, fasting, holy mass, 
etc. These never change. Lourdes is for the sick, Fatima is seen for more for penance, and Medjugorje is for conversion. Medjugorje is commonly known as the confessional of the world, where heaven meets earth. Blessed Pope John Paul II showed great favour upon Medjugorje. He reportedly said once that if he were not Pope, he would be in Medjugorje confessing himself. We don't need to worry about the events contained in the secrets that will come to pass. We don't need to be overcome by the evil of this world. The less we gossip, the less news we digest from our televisions and social media, the quicker we will detox from the badness of the world. Then by putting the five stones against our Goliath into practice, we will better be prepared for what has to come. God has already won. Pray, hope and don't worry. In these early days, and indeed throughout the years of these apparitions, there are many reported miracles. From the spinning of the sun, to cures of the sick, from atheist doctors being converted, to scientists concluding that something must be happening. So far, just the first few days speak of supernatural occurrences and will no doubt be strange to those who do not believe. But rationality must explore the fact that this was witnessed by many, and it's only being true to ourselves that we must therefore use whatever means necessary to find the truth. Thankfully, science and technology have made overwhelming advances since the historic apparitions of Lourdes and Fatima over the past centuries. In Medjugorje, over the years many scientists from all over the world have come to investigate and perhaps also to disprove Medjugorje. The scientific experiments have led to the following conclusions. These conclusions will be noted in the description below, but here are a couple to highlight. On the basis of medical examinations, tests and clinical observations, etc., for all and each of the visionaries, it is possible to exclude pathological hallucinations. On the basis of the results of previous researches for all and each of the visionaries, it is possible to exclude a purely natural interpretation of these manifestations. Accordingly, one can conclude that after a deeper examination of the protagonists, facts and their effects, not only in the local framework, but also in regard to the response of chords of the church in general, it is well for the church to recognise the supernatural origin and thereby the purpose of the events in Medjugorje. With other tests being more focused on science in general, the visionaries have been subjected to many tests and experiments over the years. While having the vision, they are in ecstasy. Ecstasy in such cases means that when they are before a supernatural presence, time and space are no longer present in the way we know it. They see nothing other than the Blessed Mother before them and whatever she may wish to show, such as future events. Sometimes even angels accompany her. During such manifestations, scientists have been testing the visionaries since the early days by pricking their skin to see if they react, watching pupil dilation before, during and after the visions. More scientific tools have been used to record their brain activity before, during and after the visions also. It has been stated that there must be something drawing their attention at the beginning. For two people to show a reflex at the exact same nanosecond would be by chance, but for six to do so, time and time again, it is completely impossible to orchestrate. The visionaries must be seeing something at the exact split second in order for such a reflex to happen. And during the apparition period, which lasts several minutes, the brain activity goes from a normal recording to a full 100% and back to normal once they come out of the ecstasy. 
This is not for one vision, it has been for them all. So for the atheist or pro-scientist to still ignore such scientific findings, this would clearly be irrational. <laughs>